So, here, here, here's the here's the recap for today. Did a map test, ruined my back. Uh, started working on a middle high track, finished it almost, killed my back again. Now I'm actually laying back on a not really comfy chair doing a NASCAR or IndyCar review. So, here's Felix Rosenquist number 10 NTT Data 2019 Honda for Chip Ganassi Racing. Well, I've just realized now I've lost all my IndyCar notes for some reason, so, uh, that's not good. There are going to be nine reasons I'm going to be a pain in the butt to film. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of this thing because I don't need this computer anymore. Oh, there goes plastic. Shoot, I'm going to step on that. Alright, so, stall. It's always how we stall on this channel. Here it is. Here's like the trading card first. On the back side. So, yeah. Here it is. Um, kind of somewhat resembles what Rosenquist ran at uh, St. Petersburg. I'm going to just open it. Anything I would say was that. There it is, right here. If anything, I'd say the uh, Ed Jones kind of looks like it a bit. Of what uh, Rosenquist ran at St. Pete's. Um, also kind of looks like the test car that Plo was using. And uh, somewhat resemble The Jones resembles a lot to... Uh, Closed main scheme this year, and I don't know if we're gonna get one, so yeah, I guess we'll have to deal with it. But, um, overall, I really like the colors on this. This is really nice. Um, not a fan of this random tech stuff for NTT, like it's a data company, not a fan of all that stuff. Just keep it the matte blue, I guess. White, I don't know how I feel about that, but it works, I guess. I'm gonna zoom in here so I can get a better look at it. I have to bend over again, damn it. Um, uh, we got the LED screen. I don't know if it's supposed to be on those cars, but it is there. Uh, front nose seems really, really lonely. Just really, like, basic. Nothing much with it. There's, like, no sponges on it as well, which is kind of weird. Uh, but, yeah. That's that. Thanks for coming. This is the review. Peace out. Now, I don't know why people do two-minute reviews. If you're going to do a review, make it, like, at least, like, six-ish plus minutes like what are you supposed to do in three minutes okay here's the car yep take a look at it all right yep cool i like this i like this i like this that's it goodbye no um but yeah i i don't know how i feel about this really it's kind of like a mix um the colors look nice though the colors can continue to look nice 10 to the floppy wish they would put something on the front nose because it's really annoying me just how lonely it is compared to like the other cars we've had there's like just nothing there so, ooh, oh my god, I also looks so weird doing a review without the arrow screen. Oh, 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 that's weird. That's weird. There's no arrow screen. Um, I feel like there's a bit of a mistake going on. I don't even know what's going on in the back here. Is it supposed to be like logos or something? Whatever it is, they did a crap job at it. I don't think this paint chips because it's like the exact same each side. I hope it's not paint chips. Dude, if that's a paint chip, that is terrible. That tends also a bit off. Uh, take a quick look at the sponsors, though. On the front nose, we got NTT data that is backwards. Interesting. Um, NTT 10, NTT IndyCar Series, Honda, NTT data, NTT data, Delara. On the sides, we got a bunch of sponsors I can't read. Firestone, NTT data, PNC, Honda, uh, Cessna, NTT data, NTT data, IndyCar Series, the roll hoop, the number the uh, LED pad, NTT Data in uh, Chip Ganassi Racing, NTT Data number ten. Yeah, there's too many NTT Datas on this car. There's really way too much. I don't also get why the primary sponsor of the series, and they're also the primary sponsor of the car. That doesn't make sense to me. So, yeah. The decals, I don't think, really placed well, though, on this car. As you can see, my hands are absolutely destroyed. Um, yeah, like, even the detail, or decals right there. They're kind of, I don't know how I feel about them in this car, really. Um, I don't think this is available anymore anywhere else. So I got, like, kind of one of the last ones at IMS. That I know of. So, yeah. There's that. I kind of got nothing else.
because there really isn't much else with this car. Although I will say, I think I like this better than the black skin that we had. Um, oh my, I that's up there, shoot. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of this. I'll oh, get it here, hold up. All that. <laughs> Destroy it, just like. I can tell you one thing though, the color scheme does fall out. Right, put this down the one here again. It's kind of got the same scheme again. Uh, but see, the spots are such more, much more laid out on this car, I feel like. I guess because also the air screen's there, so, you know, we lose a lot of spacing. But yeah, personally, I just love this blue so much better. I feel like it stands out more in this black car. It was a nice looking car, but I feel like it doesn't stand out as much, you know? I feel like these Chip and Eric cars should be known for standing out. I mean, you look at the Eric's in all red and white. Um, you got the Dixon, which has got this orange kind of blue and white colors. Um, this year you have the Johnson, if anything, uh, with those interesting colors everywhere. And then, Blasi, you kind of just had this car just, it's there. The St. Pete's car was better, but it, it, was, it was just like, okay, cool. All right. Like, I wish you would've won at a road maker with this car, because it would've looked so much cooler, I feel like. That's more garbage. Oh my god, you can't even, don't you hear when, like, plastic gets stuck on you? I hate that. Also, it hurts a bunch. Uh, so, there's that. Um, yeah, the, the, if I had my notes, you know, this would be a great review, but I really don't, so that's, that's great. So, uh. Yeah, you know, personally, I feel like they should have added one more entity data right there. Um, if anything, they could have added, like, the Chip Ganassi logo there or something. Or, get, like, Cessna on there again, or PNC, like, I feel like they could have got some more sponsors there. Honda? Honda, okay, Honda's there, never mind. Yeah, it's just a lonely car. But it'll look good in the collection, for sure. Uh, especially this car, as well. Uh. One day I want to do a photo or a review of all the like trading cards I've gotten now. I don't know how many any cards I've gotten, but yeah, all the in cards I have minus six cards because the podium packs. Um, I have a solid amount of uh, trading cards this year, and I, hopefully, if I ever go to an any card race, we'll bring them all and hopefully get them autographed. But um, I'm gonna talk about that for a bit actually. So if I were to ever go to an any card race, I'd, I think I'd bring my. Fourth championship in Indy 500 wins, so I got the Power Indy 500 win, the Dixon 500 win, or Dixon championship, Pageant 500 win, and New Garden championship, and I hope we get Sato's win, Indy 500 win, and Dixon's championship uh, for those, and maybe get those signed, because they're still in our boxes, and I kind of want to keep them there, I think that would look pretty good, uh, getting those signed, I don't know, you know, I guess the trading card is, and then if I go to the race, I guess that's where I'll get all my die cast, hopefully, um, so I guess I'd buy them there, and if I get autographs, I'll autograph the cars, and then buy another car. Because I don't want to open up a car. Like, save the roads and cars. I don't want to have this open, and then, like, hey, can you sign this? And, you know, even if you put the car back in, it's not original. It's been tapped with, I guess you could say. It's been used. So, again, so you can, like, smell it. Put this together. But, yeah. That's where I, I, if I get autographs at the track, I'd get another car, I guess, or something like that. But even getting train cars is pretty good. I have a virtual autograph. Um, yeah, that's the only autograph I got from Ray Hall. And I still kind of hate him, so. He's a cocky driver, okay? I'm sorry, he really is. Complains a lot about a lot of stuff. So, uh, yeah, if you somehow magically find this car, pick it up because it's the first rookie Rose and Quartz we got. Mm hmm. And, uh, I don't, I guess if you didn't buy the, uh, number 10 NTT data from this year, pick this one up, because we're probably not going to get one this year, so, uh, do it. Hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, so you never miss another video. Weekend's coming up, doing one of the, uh, 124 NASCAR reviews. I think I figured out which one I want to do. And then, uh, I'm working on a new review. Get that out for next week. Along with my, I think it's no, no, it's not no great because I think we already did that view. I feel like it's, um, I think it might be the time of Jesse 45 car. And I'll maybe get another random 124 overview. So that's the plan for the next week. Hope you guys enjoyed. See y'all later. Goodbye.